Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to another Black Mirror episode. I actually kind of use these episodes to fill my weeks if I don't have any other stuff to react to. Uh, but today I'm reacting to this because at this moment, well I recorded this before, but at this very moment when this is uploaded, uh, I'm on a holiday. So American Horror Story uh, is coming out. Uh, tomorrow or tonight but I won't have time to record it or edit it because I'm not at home uh, so that's why I'm uh, reacting to Black Mirror this week so I still have a reaction to come online and then next week um, I will have missed two American Horror episodes and a new one will come out so next week I'm going to upload three American Horror Stories episodes in a row that's also quite nice, right? But for now, um, I'm going to react to Black Museum. It is also one of the highest rated episodes uh, of Black Mirror. Uh, and well, from the ones I hadn't seen yet. Uh, so I was quite curious about this one. Um, and also, I believe someone also recommended it to me. Uh, so yeah, today I decided to watch this one. I gotta be honest, the previous reaction to White Christmas didn't get as many views as I thought it would. Maybe because Black Mirror is not really trending at the moment and People aren't really looking for reactors or something. So that's why I don't think that at the moment I will do a lot of more Black Mirror episodes. But when there's like a week I don't have anything else to upload. I'll probably just watch a Black Mirror episode. Because I really like the episodes. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of work. So if no one watches it, it's also not really <laughs> worth it to be honest. For now, I'm going to watch this episode. I have no idea what it's about. Well, I guess a um, museum with things or something. I don't know what I'm imagining with this, but Black Museum kind of sounds like a creepy museum where scary stuff happens. That's my first thought about it, but I have no idea what it's about, so let's watch it. Oh, and also if you want to see this reaction uncut, you can check out my Patreon and there you can see my full reaction to this episode. The link is in the description. I'm just dancing to the music, vibing. <laughs> that looks abandoned. I hope she didn't need gas at this very moment. <laughs> to extent she has a problem. Huh. Huh. Of course, it's Black Mirror. It's in the future. Gas stations don't exist anymore. That's the thing, probably. Kind of looks like a prison because of the fences. Hi. Hey. You're from Australia? No, I'm from Britain. So you got one of those crazy British names, Esmeralda. Or, uh, <laughs> what? Nish. Nish? Sure you want to do this? This place ain't for the faint hearted. You sure I can handle it? Not everyone can. <laughs> It looks like no one ever gets there, so... Dinky. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think you're... I don't know how it works in the future, but I don't believe you're allowed to actually touch the stuff in the back. My dad lives out here. Uh -huh. It's his birthday, so my mom just wants a surprise. And you had a surprise? Mm, part of it, I guess. We're yeah. playing heck of a trip for a girl on our own. I don't mean to get old-fashioned. Seriously? That is quite old fashioned. Yeah. What is all this stuff? Authentic criminological artifacts. If it did something bad, chances are it's in here. That's what I said. Look around, take Creepy stuff, time, bad stuff. Pops out at you. Anything piques your interest, I can tell you all of that. Other folks just rush behind the curtain, hardly even eyeball this stuff. I am not in a rush, so don't worry. <laughs> what is it? I was more sort of recruitment. Yeah, I'm here. from the 10th floor. Just like the previous episode, I'm just really wondering where this is going right now. This is Kenny. <laughs> okay. This is Andrew. Absorbing signals from Kenny's brain, which were sent to Hector over here. See so Kenny's knowledge of the maze layout in the room. He'd be able to solve it first time. But did he? No. Scrabbling around like a rat fucking imbecile. Hot coffee spills all over Kenny, so obviously he's squealing like hell. But so is Hector. Oh. Turns out we haven't discovered how to share knowledge. The physical sensations. 
Bam. Hector felt the burn, but took no damage at all. But how did he die? They cut him open after to see if he was okay. Oh. Anyhow, a receiver for human experiences, a neural implant. Imagine if you could feel exactly what a patient feels, minus the physical consequences, like reading their minds. So what do you say? Got he was happy to do it. But why? But, it was only but then you'd feel so everything. There's something kind of kinky about it. <laughs> This one, Houston, we got a miracle. Right off the bat, diseases, late stage terminal stuff, Dawson grit his teeth and went through But then you're the basically just sacrificing yourself for all this. Caught things they weren't even looking for, blastomas and so on. Hmm. That man saved lives, no doubt about it. Well, he did a good thing. This implant received pleasurable sensations too. <laughs> he didn't just feel like he was feeling, <laughs> but also felt what like she was feeling. Some of the patients experiencing male and female orgasms at the same time. Oh my god! Oh my god. <sighs> he collapsed at some fundraiser. No one could tell what in hell was wrong. I got this. Like he's got no clue oh, what this is. Please. Just one more minute, please. Let the man work. It's a pain he's never known. Oh, oh, shit. He's flatlining. One more moment. And then it happened. Did he die? Yeah, I was already scared of that. Dawson blacked out for like five minutes. Oh. Turns out the senator had been poisoned. A rare poison at that, some kind of Russian shit. He'd been into mm. that whole thing. Ah! Oh, God damn it. Firstly, his relationship with pain had shifted a little. Now, he was into it. Oh. The more pain he felt, the more pleasure he got. Uh, uh, okay, no, uh, stop, stop. Okay, stay short, stop. Uh, uh, Ow, Pete. Uh, I'm going. What the hell? See, it's like he was basically just addicted to pain. Physically pulled Dawson away from her. <gasps> he didn't have patience to reach pain off anymore. So he started inflicting it on himself. This will eventually so just kill him. Just whittling away at himself. Oh my god! Cut here and gouge there. How far you go without it getting fatal? Oh my god. Ew. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. small stories now and in the meantime we just oh, gonna man. wonder what's behind the curtain no man it's no bother <laughs> i love her accent consciousness transfer so what, what are they called cookies today like when they upload old people to the cloud yeah this is way before that we didn't have that whole immersive vr like sentient apparel right what we dealt with. part of what i was working on i was already wondering what what the story behind that it's was cute. actually one of the saddest things in the whole place Boy meets girl, boys called Jack, girls called yeah. Carrie. <laughs> Dick pukes a little baby face up a wazoo which takes hold. Oh god. Before you know it, out pops a boy, Parker. 
money. Carrie gets hit by a truck. Oh fuck. Citrus fresh. Gotcha. And I recorded. I'm talking about taking Carrie's consciousness from that broken shell and putting it in there. It's, it's like, like a voice inside my head. She can hug your son via you. How, how much does this all cost? I have to think about it. Yeah, I get that. Oh, she wants it. This can't be good for your brain. You can open your eyes now, Jack. What the hell? I can hear it. Uh, apple, apple, she's saying apple. Hey, baby. Hey, Jack. Hey. Aww. Oh, she, she says she feels like. Sensation's looking good. Take a bite. So long since I tasted anything. You can taste that? She, she tastes it. Holy shit. You know what's fucked up? What I was just thinking about. Imagine him getting a new girlfriend in a few years or something. Because now he's basically always alone. Got so big. <laughs> but yeah, that would be weird. Gotcha. It's really heartwarming. Yeah. But this is when you say fuck. Yeah. God, oh, turn the page already. Man, you read slow. I like to take in the pictures. What the graphic part of a graphic novel is. That's true, though. Whoa, you're not washing our hands? Uh, our hands? Seriously, this must bring kind of so of many complications. I'm not, I'm not being, I'm not being unreasonable. He not yet. No, just wait. No, just, just hear me out. Having a backseat driver glued into the back. You cannot do anything on your own. And drive your mental. Exactly. Oh god. That must also not be good for that kid. Whatever, whatever. Do it. So he upped his privileges. He should be up. Yeah. So now we're just openly checking out women's racks? And feel the fucking boner forming, okay? And he checks her ass too as she leaves. Holy fuck. Jack, I'm warning you. Not cool. Why the Halloween pumpkin? Halloween's months from now. Actually, it's today. Oh, he put her on pause for months? How long was I on pause? I don't know. Eight. My anniversary is so good. Fuck you, you're a fucking asshole. You had him away from me for months. I want to see my boy. Okay. Okay. Tell him I love him. Tell him I need a hug. This is so messed up. Complicated things. Jack, put Carrie on pause, except for the weekend. I'm like a divorcee with visiting rights. Mm. So in that way, she kind of did see him grow up. Hey, looks like we're neighbors. Please. Fuck it. Visiting time is over. No, Jack, don't you dare. Jack! Jack, you son of a bitch! This is exactly the thing I was worrying about from the beginning. Is she giving you shit? Mm hmm. Carrie, stop giving him shit. Tell her to back off. There's always deletion. As in permanent erasure. Oh, Ooh, that's <laughs> heavy though. That'd be killing her. No, no deletion. I'm not doing it. She wants to be near Mark. I can't take that away from Yeah, it's the child. It's that's the complicated thing do. indeed. We can put her in here. And there. Mommy. What? No, 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 Jack. Don't you dare. Jack, put me back in your fucking head. <laughs> that kid is so cute though.
we can still have you right. That what you want? Do monkey needs a hug or no? Monkey needs a hug. <laughs> <laughs> you be dumb to Monkey loves <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. That's what children do. They get a new toy and they get tired of it within a week. It's so sad for Carrie though. Don't tell me she's still in there. Human rights for cookies. Right, Carrie? She's still in there. Be legal to clean her too, so yeah. No oh, that's terrible. But I kept you waiting too long. No, I feel so bad for her, for what? Carrie. What? That she's just still in there. <laughs> What's happening to him though? Come on, mister. You got a visitor. Girl. <coughs> Is that a real person? Because he has those things that make him look like a computer a thing. Oh, we saw it on the news in the previous story. He's not real, right? So real. Well, it is him. Fully conscious. Upload on him. Rights issues. Asshole. Represented. But convicted killers. Different story. But how is this so special if it's just a hologram? Well, I guess we're going to see that now. So you could look into this DNA thing? Prove it wasn't me? Um, no, wait, I, I have a proposal. I can help! I can help your family! And his family, Philip, I. Hey, give a shit. Okay. Nine and a month, and a lockdown. Ooh. I know. Right? Harsh. Jesus Christ. Clay is your soul. And no such thing. Mm. He lied? Shit, no, because he was guilty. Vanessa and Dad, you know the documentary? Fake news, hatch your job. What about the DNA tampering? Seriously? There's no doubt about it. The day he got the chair was a great day for justice. Hmm. That went first. Transfer away. If that helps, yeah. What the fuck? Pulling the lever yourself? Now that's attraction. <gasps> that's insane! Ten seconds seemed to be the optimum shock length, so that became the intractable limit. <laughs> Just sentient snapshot of Clayton, not a recording, a true copy of his mind perpetually experiencing that beautiful. Uh, why? <laughs> Did you see if it makes it easier? Wait! She's not his daughter, right? Or something. Ooh. What? My accent? British. You lost the day trippers, the tourists, fun family crowd. Who was left? Lawrence, sadists, the supremacist sickle demographic. Oh my god. I thought so. <laughs> Clear his name, but that just broke her. You know what she did when she came home? 
Bottle of pills and a bottle of vodka found you fucking piece of shit. Mm. Is it hot? Huh. Humid, right? I'm sorry. Stupid digital AC. Easy to hack. I never accept drinks from strangers. <laughs> Oh, she's going to do the same thing to him. Gone by the color of your lips. You're going to be gone in 30 seconds. Hey, don't worry. We're going to see you on the other side. Hey. What did you do? It turns out that it is. <gasps> so now he will feel everything he feels. You, however, rode away inside there, Mr. Hayes, you feel it all. Hey! All the pain. Fuck you! Yeah. Every perfect little shot of it. Fuck you! Yeah. Get myself a souvenir too. Always on. Always suffering. Fuck! No! 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 I love how she made the monkey watch too Because actually he just ruins so many people People's lives I mean Monkey loves you I wouldn't want to have that in my car though, but yeah. How'd I do, Mom? All good? <gasps> Just great, honey. Oh Hi. my god! Oh, thanks. <laughs> wow. Okay, a really good episode. <laughs> well, actually, for most of the episode, I was just wondering, where is this going? I had no idea what the hell, well, I knew what was going on, but I had no idea where it was going. So honestly, until the last 50 minutes, I was just thinking like, was this episode even worth reacting to? Because they were basically just small stories about the things that guy did and they were happy but there wasn't really a shock thing in it but i was like it's black mirror and Mac black mirror always has a shock thing in their episodes mostly around the end so i was still waiting for something and then yeah we got that <laughs> honestly that guy just he annoyed me from the beginning because he already looked like that person who does bad shit but thinks he can do it because um, he's a cis white male. And also he had done so much in his past. I mean, uh, at first we got the story about the doctor who experienced pain. Honestly, with every story, every time he just talked someone into the thing he wanted, I was like, but why would you do that? I mean, with all three things, I mean, of course, with the last guy, uh, the prisoner, I was like, okay, he thinks right now, if I'll die anyway, I won't feel that anymore. And I mean, I believe he wasn't actually the killer because the daughter was talking about those protests and the DNA things and stuff. And I mean, if it was actually him, I think we would have gotten proof in this episode that it was actually him. But even if he actually killed a person, that's just not, not okay. He already got the chair, you know. And then you just want to make him suffer for eternity. I mean, maybe for a while, but not, not like this. Not this. This is just so inhumane and yeah, no. And he also said to him that uh, his family would be taken care of and that uh, they would get a lot of money from it. So of course I get that he said yes. Um, he just told half-truths and of course uh, the prisoner believed that and then this happens but with the other two i don't know i mean the doctor did some good things because of of well the thing he did with the chip and the little helmet thing uh, he did a lot of good things uh, because of it but 
I don't know. Well, the thing with him was he could still turn it off if he wanted. And he only felt it if someone was, was wearing that helmet thing. So, okay, I maybe also kind of get that. But still, I would never say yes to something like that. Because you're basically feeling everyone's pain. And I don't care what good things you can do with it. I would not sacrifice myself like that i think no and then there is the second story with uh, jack and carrie which was so sad but i mean i can't really choose a side or something because i got them both i mean eventually jack just wanted to live his life but of course carrie she was in a coma and she couldn't watch her son grow up and then she finally got the chance and then that chance was sort of taken away from her again um, so I get that must be so frustrating and not being able to say things yourself, to do things yourself, to just see and do everything your husband does or your partner. I don't know if they were married though. But yeah, that must be so fucking frustrating. Already from the beginning of that story, I was like, okay, but what if he wants to move on in a few years and he meets another woman? And what happens then? If he's gonna have sex, she'll have sex with that other woman too and that's just too fucked up so i already didn't see that go well from the beginning but i mean of course he also got convinced because his wife said yes in that coma uh, and i really he really wanted her to see their kid grow up in the beginning it was all good and great and but that's what most of these things in the beginning it's good and great and then there is this downside. There is where the bot comes. What what she said in the episode. And to me, the most fucked up thing was actually that uh, that monkey was in the museum now, and that she was still in it. Because I honestly thought, okay, maybe she's not in it anymore then, because that would be really inhumane. But then I was like, yeah, it's Black Mirror, so it's so it's also kind of logical maybe that she's still in there. And she was. So yeah, yeah. And then the end. I don't know, from the beginning I was actually kind of scared something was going to happen to the girl Because yeah, she enters the black museum I mean, it kind of gave me a shady feeling I had no idea what this museum was about and what was in there What that guy was like, if there were actually coming a lot of people there Or if he was just making that up because it looked really abandoned But in the end, actually, she did something to him And I really didn't see that coming to be honest But he really got what he deserved I mean, if you already saw the first two stories, you already knew how many people he hurt and how many people's life were, lives were ruined because of him. And then that last story that was so heavy that they just kept hurting him over and over and over again. And I was like, okay, yeah, he really got what he deserved. He really got what was coming for him. And also to actually find out that, that the mother of the girl was actually also inside her head, which is also a little... Fucked up maybe because You know we saw the previous story and that also didn't work out But maybe she just wanted that uh, To to like so her mother could see her avenge um, Her father so yeah I'm not sure how, how that will continue If she'll maybe put her off in, or put her on pause in the, in the future or something But yeah it's nice that, that she's still kind of with her And I think honestly that having your mother inside your head Would bring less complications than your wife slash ex-wife <laughs> because um i mean your mother wants the best thing for you and if you're like hey mom i really need a pause i think your mother would understand that but your ex-wife nope it honestly this episode honestly kind of reminded me of the previous one i reacted to white christmas because we also got three stories that were told uh, about the past uh, and the first two stories were told by uh, someone else and then the last story is told by the other person and that just brings everything up and that just explains everything what's going on and yeah it, they just it, it kind of reminded me of that which is really a coincidence because i've seen episodes before and it's really not like that normally so uh, maybe i just chose the two episodes that that looked a lot like each other and i also feel like the more black mirror episodes i watch the more i kind of get into this sort of universe this future because i feel like a lot of things are also linked and kind of the same even though the episodes are not the same stories so yeah that's also nice i'm not sure if i'll do any black mirror episodes soon maybe one time I'm, i'll continue with them and maybe if i want to watch some episode and I think I know a really good one I'll, I'll just react to it but uh, not anytime soon at least do you like my reaction then uh, please leave a like subscribe and uh, let me know what you thought of this episode when you watched it and then that was it bye
Okay, also I only just found out about this, but I was reading people's comments about the episode and apparently a lot of um, items that were in the museum are from different episodes. And I've seen a few, I've seen Archangel and that was the broken tablet. Um, and White Bear, I've seen that one. There's also one from that. Uh, and the rest I haven't seen that, but I, um, yeah, I hadn't noticed to be honest. Uh, but I thought it was worth mentioning, so now I know it. And uh, I think that's a really nice Easter egg if you've seen more of the episode. So <laughs> I think that's nice. 